tell you what I love though is I love watching the televangelists on TV, man. Fucking Jack Van Indy, that show, the creepy couple that are all excited about every horrible thing that happened in the news. Look, the best load of babies exploded in the Middle East. Isn't it wonderful? You're a fucking psychopath, right? <laughs> Or my favorite, the king of all televangelists is Oral Roberts. And I know it's an obvious joke, but come on. The world's biggest homophobe is a guy named Oral? Like, seriously? And his last name is Roberts, which if you abbreviate as Bob's, his name is Oral Bob's. You couldn't get a better gay porn name if you fucking tried. And he hates queer people, go figure, you know? And I love, I love all these, uh, these evangelists because they all have a checkered past, all of them. They all used to be like heroin addicts or alcoholics or sex weirdos or porno freaks or whatever. And then they fucked up their lives and Jesus helped them clean their act. And that's cool, right? That's fine. But the problem is then they go on TV and tell the rest of us normal people that we're not allowed to do that fun shit because they couldn't handle it. You know? <laughs> really, they're always saying, oh, don't smoke a joint. Don't ever smoke a joint, brothers and sisters. Because I smoked a joint once, and I woke up four days later in a ditch outside Las Vegas with no pants on and a $50 bill rolling my ass. It's like, dude, that's you. You're the fucking freak. Most of us just smoke a joint and watch that Transformers movie and go to bed. That's where this story ends. We don't even leave the fucking living room. Never mind what it fixes. You can't watch an episode of The Red Shoe Diaries without flying over Bangkok and a nun to a donkey show. That's, you don't say that shit with David the Cuffney. You've got the fucking problem, But I love those. Sometimes you'll see these guys on TV. And they'll be going on about the evils of premarital sex and drinking and drugs and stuff. But they'll have like a, a, a gleam in their eye that they kind of miss the good old days, you know? They'll be like, oh, brothers and sisters, I used to drink and I used to smoke and I used to gingerly watch. 18 year old nips pour whiskey all over their bosoms and I would think that 12 year old single malt scotch whiskey out there, pinky rep nipples in the backs of soda clubs. Oh, it was bad, that was bad! You don't want to do that! No, no, but life is much better now. Just sitting in the drawing room every day with my highly judgmental horse faced wife with a vagina as dry as a bag of pickling salt on the surface of the moon. Just read the same book over and over and over again. You know that underneath that powder blue tuxedo that Oral Roberts insists on wearing, there is a green skinned, razor toothed, whiskey guzzling, fucking coke snorting fuck beast just dying to get out. And any one of these days he's gonna snap and rip that shit off and just lunge at the congregation with a highly neglected diamond heart erection. This glory of people like a crap in my And they're all screaming and running away because they're running to the bulls and the cops come in and they shoot them 26 times in the chest again to stop fucking things. Can you get a witness? Sometimes when you cage the beast, the beast gets angry. <laughs> you can't bottle that shit up, man. <laughs> so I was watching The View the other day. <laughs>